O God, who by invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through the sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water, your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism. O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters, so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O God, whose son baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with blood, and after his resurrection commanded his disciples, go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive May this water receive by your the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature, created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. My dear elect, if your faith makes you ready to accept the responsibility, reject sin and profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of our church. This is the faith in which you are about to be baptized. My friends, do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by this grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. My dear friends, is it your will to be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you? Edwin, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Christina. Christina, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Ricardo, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Miguel Angel, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Jose Armando, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Eliza, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Vincent, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Leslie, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Sean, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.